Today, Alma Dana becomes a naturalized British citizen. After 20 years of living in London, it was Brexit that pushed this 43-year-old charity worker from Spain to apply for citizenship. And your name is Della Lara Fitzgerald. She was now the same as in the uh, council chamber. Up until the, the referendum, it never occurred to me to take the British citizenship. As a European citizen, I felt very much at home here. But now with all the uncertainty and really not knowing where things are going, I thought I might as well take the citizenship. Many EU citizens living in the UK have decided to do the same. Even though Theresa May's government has reached preliminary agreements with Brussels protecting the rights of around 3 million EU citizens, many remain skeptical. Applications from Europeans for UK citizenship more than doubled last year, with some 38,000 applying in 2017, compared to 15,000 the year before. A lady who came here in the 70s, a French national, and she applied uh, last year to become British. And uh, she said, well, she's doing it because of Brexit. And uh, almost that's the reason why a lot of them are actually doing it. Applicants must prove that they have lived in the UK for at least five years and pass a test on British culture. Then finally, there's a small ceremony where they swear allegiance to the Queen, commit themselves to Britain's democratic values, and sing the national anthem, the famous God Save the Queen. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I think if you looked around the room, it was a very diverse group of people, and that is what I like about Britain. I think it is very inclusive, especially about London, um, and I think that was represented there today. But this peace of mind comes at a cost, about 1,300 pounds a price many are willing to pay during the uncertain times of Brexit.